Welcome to day two. Uh, so we, I have 10 roller coasters down, surprisingly. We got, I don't we got know 10. how we did it. Yeah, um, but so we have seven more, I think, if we can get them all, all we'll see. Okay, uh, we got 10 yesterday with yeah. Fast Pass. Yeah. We don't have Fast yeah, Pass today. Right. So we're, we're gonna hit the, um, the one of the Snoop, Snoopy of launch the kids, coasters. Yeah. yeah, that's early ride time. Uh, it's about half an hour till park opens. opens for the regular public, so. But anyway, welcome to day two. All right, so originally the Snoopy Railway was supposed to be uh, early ride time, but it's delayed, so instead they have the Peanuts Ghoster Coaster, so we're gonna be riding that next. All right, we just got off of Ghoster Coaster. Hands down, <laughs> the best wooden roller coaster in the park. Have we ridden them all? I, I think, think so. Oh. Uh, definitely the least amount of pain. <laughs> I mean, any of the rides. It but. it was just it it's a kid the kids coaster. It's a double out and back, but it was smooth. It was fun. And there was a kid I think that's behind, directly Becca. behind me who yeah. was having a blast. Yeah. And her dad, she wanted to ride it again. And so since it wasn't busy, they let them stay in their seats and do it again. So. And she's even contemplating front row. <laughs> That's my kind of kid. So you would recommend? I would. Yeah. I will say, if you are of a certain size, you can't ride it. I barely oh, got really? the seatbelt yes. fastened. Oh, so okay. it is definitely geared towards uh, kids and skinny adults. Next up is the Mine Ride Thunder Run. We just got off of Thunder Run Mine Ride and it was fun. It was completely unpretentious. It was short, it was a two lap special, uh, but I, I really liked it. I would recommend, yeah. but maybe if it's a shorter wait. Yeah, we waited about 25 minutes yeah. for that. Uh, basically you go in, uh, it's, it does a few helixes, I guess. Uh, but anyway. I will say it does have a lot of strobe effects, so if that's something that bothers you, not the ride for you. But other than that, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. Would recommend. Next up, we're going to be going on the fly, which is a wild mouse. So we just got off the fly. Uh, typical wild mouse. Very much. The cool thing is they did have padding uh, at the front for people with long legs. <laughs> so that was kind of helpful. I didn't um, need it. <laughs> um, just, it goes, the, goes um, on the top part, it has, you know, it has zigzags. The usual, yeah. yeah. And it'll, it'll uh, throw you from side to side as usual, a few hills. You it's know. not a wild mouse if you don't feel like you're going to fall off the track. <laughs> right. I mean, it's not. So, um, I would probably recommend if you didn't have, we have maybe a, 25 minute wait yeah. or so. Uh, um, it is more. set up for a significantly longer wait, the yeah. queue line, so look extensive for that ride. Uh, it's a wild mouse. I would not wait more than yeah. 20 minutes for it, um, but it was a decent wild yeah, it mouse. Wasn't bad. I mean, I been would recommend. Yeah. yeah, I've been on much worse. Yeah. So, yeah, I would recommend. for Behemoth. Uh, we're hoping to get a back row uh, ride. We rode front row yesterday. It was a great ride, so we'll see how it compares to back row. Hi. We just got off of Behemoth. We back sat, row. sat in the back row. Uh, we did front row yesterday. And thoughts? I have opinions. Okay. Um, super intense, super fast, super fun but with a rattle that just won't quit. I like the back because you're whipped over the hills. Oh, However, gosh. I guess the front probably I would prefer, so. Depends. I don't know. I don't know. I would ride the back again. Yeah. It was, I mean, even with the rattle, it was still way better than either of the woodies that we yeah. rode yesterday. Yeah. Those were Those bone were jarring. Yeah. 
so I would recommend. So that'll do it for day two at Canada's Wonderland. We didn't stay too long, but we needed to get, we just wanted to get a few, yeah, more, a few more rides, coasters a few more in. credits. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, overall, it was a good two days. Uh, pros for me, uh, all the, like I'm a person who uh, likes when they have bins or lo uh, instead of lockers yes. for rides. They have yes. bins here for every ride. So it was I'm great. I'm not a fan of pay to yeah, ride. Right. Exactly. Mean... Um, staff, pretty friendly. Um, the rides were good, the Leviathan Behemoth and uh, Yukon Striker were all good. They were amazing. Um, wooden roller coaster is terrible. I don't recommend. Except Ghoster Coaster. Ghoster Coaster, which is the family one. But <laughs> thoughts on you? Um, so, again, the three coasters he yeah. named, top notch. Yeah. Um, loved them. For me, I think it is the beauty of this park. It is truly a beautiful park to walk through and to experience. They do a nice job with theming. Um, flat rides. Flat are, rides are insane. Yeah, they, they are have everywhere. Prob yeah, probably more flat rides. Like I'm talking like adult flat rides, intense Extreme flat rides. Extreme flat rides. Right, than any other park that I've visited. Oh, and the other thing I love is this feels like a truly international oh, park. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, you know, our home park is Kings Island. And here, as you're walking around, you're hearing other languages, you're seeing other cultures, and it's just, it's really cool. It, it truly does feel like it's our first international park, <laughs> yeah. which it is. And I wasn't expecting that. So, um, yeah. I would strongly yeah. recommend. <laughs> With that said, thanks very much for watching and for all your support. We really appreciate it. Yes, and we will see, see you on our next, next adventure. adventure.